today we've demonstrated the highest level of interoperability whereby we gave full command and control of the air vehicle and the payload to an operator on a manned helicopter. taking off. The benefits of unmanned assets in combination with manned assets, MAM-T, manned unmanned teaming, clearly are that you can extend your reach and you can keep the manned asset with their crews out of harm's way. You have the eye from the manned aircraft and you have the eye from the unmanned aircraft you can approach a target area, landing area or area of interest from two directions in parallel and you're 100% in control of both of your eyes. What we've learned in the last few days provides three major value propositions. Firstly, persistence. And so when a manned platform's got to either refuel or is diverted to a task, we can sit there for hours delivering the product back to wherever needs it. Secondly, we can put it into a hostile environment where there is an expectation that it may come to harm without threatening or without putting the manned platform at threat. And then thirdly, the key one is, is it does give uh, a different overview to what may be being achieved from the man platform. So if it's a helicopter, for instance, and it's flying or operating low to the ground, the unmanned platform can give it the aerial view which it would struggle to attain. We have these classical elements, and especially in military applications, um, of these um, DDD, dull, dirty and dangerous missions, which um, can be achieved with an unmanned system um, and can enhance for that um, um, the mission effectiveness, but also the safety um, of the mission, mission execution for the manned element. And that's why this manned unmanned teaming, we are convinced, um, is, is the future.